Nashawn Garrett, currently on a roll after taking Austin DeSanto in the semis of the World Team Trials, beat Dayton Fix in the finals. Nashawn was an underdog again as Dayton is a world silver and one hell of a competitor, but Nashawn did not disappoint. The final score was 12-4, but it was a lot closer match than that score indicates. Ten seconds in, Fix is in a lower stance, and so Nashawn does one of his blast doubles. Doubles against someone in a low stance like this is a super good idea, especially as soon as they get back to their stance. Notice how Fix was down on a knee and then steps up, but stays low. So here in this position, his knees are very far forward. Fix is like sitting on an invisible toilet. So it's pretty easy for Nashon to throw his shoulder into Fix's face as he charges at a double and tries to run through him. Fix does stabilize by catching both underhooks, lifts them up. You would start to look for a foot sweep, maybe an inside trip, or throw one arm by and get behind. There's a lot you could try. Nashon catches both overhooks and uses the momentum to do a lateral drop, throws Fix out of bounds for the takedown. Nashon's corner does want four, but the ref doesn't agree, so Fix must not have broke back exposure. You'd think Fix would attack the inside trip quickly after catching catching the underhooks. He is really good at those, but I guess he wasn't feeling it at the moment. Score is 2-0, Nashon. A minute left, Nashon fires another random double from space. Fix does do a good job of blocking with his head and posting his hands down so he can catch the double underhooks again, but his legs don't react. Normally you would sprawl your legs back too, but Fix doesn't, and so Nashon is able to catch the right leg and run Fix out of bounds right to his back. The underhooks don't help Fix this time. They almost keep Fix in this position facing Nashon, not letting him turn away quickly enough to avoid feet to back on this takedown. Feet the back is four points, bringing the score to 6-0. 45 seconds left. Nashon goes for a quick shot on the right on the foot that's up. Fix pulls it away, gets a lefty collar, and punches an underhook on the right. Nashon goes for another quick shot, a righty single, but Fix pulls him up in this over-under situation. Fix is probably looking to lift him up for an inside trip as Nashon inches to the edge. Nashon goes for a hip toss, throwing his left hip in and trying to use the overhook to throw Fix to his back out of bounds. But Fix lets go of everything and limps both arms to avoid that. He does slip off, but at the expense of falling his hand to the mat. This is close, but the ref does get it right. Fix's hand touches first, giving Nashon another point for the pushout. Score is now 7-0. Still surprised Fix didn't try to inside trip sooner. These throws at the edge of the mat are really favoring Nashon. 14 seconds left to go in the first. Fix does get his first point, a caution for hands to the face. The ref did warn Nashon a few times for this. A lot of times wrestlers that are good at shooting from a distance like Nashon will post on the head often to keep the opponent from closing the gap a little. It becomes a habit, and sometimes it gives up a caution point here or there if they end up posting in the face and instead of on the forehead. Second period starts. Fix rushes Nashon quick from the start, digging underhooks, trying to go upper body and throw him or just push him around, hoping to get a push out point. But Nashon is able to stay in bounds. Fix gets to a deep cement job, but isn't able to do anything with it. Fix could throw his hip in and try to launch him, but he doesn't have time. It slips. Nashon hips in hard and uses his overhook again to go for a light hip toss, again pushing both of their hands to the mat out of bounds in favor of Nashon, who earns another push out point. Score is now 8-1. Rushing at your opponent like this is dangerous, though I can understand the desperation coming from Fix. This is his last chance to get to Final X for a chance at the world team. He's pushing it as hard as he can, but everything he's doing is upper body. I would like to see more leg attacks, if anything, just to switch it up a bit. Make it not be so easy to predict and defend. Minute 20 left, Nashon goes for a righty single. Fix catches an underhook on the right, gets a front headlock with another underhook, starts lifting. Nashon gets the right side free, so Fix starts charging with the left underhook, trying to push Nashon out of bounds again. Nashon dances the line and stays in, but he does touch down here as he tries another leg light hip toss. He does slip off of it quickly and Fix stays behind and so the ref gives another takedown. The ref either didn't see the hand touch or allowed the continuation and the takedown. The score is 8-3, Nashon. 35 seconds left, Nashon does a lefty pass by, pushes that right elbow across, and so Fix grabs a lefty collar tie and punches another underhook on the right, looks for a front headlock, but settles for a push out. Fix is still thinking, I need big throws, but there are plenty of points to be gotten from good shots, especially ones that lead to leg laces. The score is 8-4, Nashon. 5 seconds left, Nashon goes for that righty single again. Fix goes for a lateral drop, digs underhook on the right, and tries to use the wizard to throw Nashon to the left, but the situation isn't tight enough. It slips, and so Fix falls to his back, giving up the four points. Honestly, that was very close to working. Fix needed to step his free leg in more and use that leg that Nashon had control of to try to launch him, but he didn't have the position and or leverage. Unfortunate end for Dayton Fix, who is so talented, I just think going upper body most of the match didn't really benefit him. I know Nashon is fast and all, but he can't move that fast if you're attacking his legs and keeping him on the defense. Nashon didn't stop attacking all match, and so Nashon is the world team trials champion and will meet Vito Arruja out in Final X in a few weeks. Vito is on fire lately, but so is Nashon, so this is bound to be an explosive event for both of them. If anything, it's going to be fun to watch.